ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 8-Bit Big Band Live at Sony Hall Late Show. Yeah, we love a late crowd. It's a party up here. We have a great night of music for you with some great guests. And so to kick it off, please put your hands together for the one, the only, Keith White. One, two, one, two, a one, two, three, and oh! Can you see the sun is shining on me? It makes me feel so free, so alive. It makes me want to survive. Can you see it makes me feel so high. The bad times pass me by. And today it's gonna be a brighter day. Sunshine too, coming through, it makes me feel brand new. When you're here, I wish you were always here, cause everything's so clear. And today, it's gonna be a brighter day. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel it sometimes? For the sunshine and forget about the rain. Oh, just think about the good times and they will. Sonic R. Yeah, I know, not a lot of Sonic R players. Anyway, 
Welcome to the Apic Big Band, the late set at Sony Hall. You know, we pretty much never do uh, two sets. This is really the first time since the very first show we ever did five years ago that we do two sets. And uh, I'm excited, this is a party set. Do you feel like this is a party crowd or what? Yeah, no holds barred. Well, we're here celebrating a very cool thing. Not only is it the holiday season, but we're here specifically to celebrate the release of our fourth album, Game Changer. Thank you so much. Yeah, the, you know, the support for this album has been incredible. All the listens, all the streams, all the likes and the comments, I read them all for better, for, you know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, the reception has been so cool and I, I really appreciate all the love for the new album. So much incredible musicianship, you know, including the musicians surrounding me and many other great artists and engineers went into the creation of that album. So I want to thank you all for coming here and celebrating it with us. There's so much to celebrate. We have a great set for you tonight. Lots of great tunes, great music, some classic video game tunes, some newer ones, some older ones, some lesser known ones. Uh, and I'd like to keep this going by playing what is arguably uh, video game music's national anthem, if you ask me. It's become an iconic tune. We always have to include it in the beginning of our show as the way to salute the great video game songbook. This is Bob on Battlefield from Super Mario 64. <laughs>
64. You know, that was my uh, that was my first video game that I ever played. Was it anybody else's first game? Yeah, okay. Actually, you know what? Make some noise if your first ever video game console was N64. What about Super Nintendo? Genesis? Okay. Atari 2600? Yeah, alright, cool. Um, uh, TurboGrafx-16? Who said that? <laughs> this guy over here. Make some noise if your first console was the Virtual Boy. Wow. <laughs> you know, you know what? Makes yes, yeah, someone. Wow. Okay. Make some noise if your first console was the Switch. <laughs> Thank you. That is the information of the demographic of this crowd that I want to know. That was very helpful for my research. A <laughs> lot of millennials in here, myself included. Make some noise if your first console was the Wii. All right, I'm a little older than you, now I know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. It's, it's going to be a great show. The next tune we're going to play, uh, we have never played before. It's a brand new cut from album four. It has kind of an interesting origin story, you know. Um, uh, I, I was not personally much of a fighting game guy, except for Smash, if you include that. Some people do, some people don't. Maybe that's a little controversial. This is not Smash. This is a real fighting game for real fighting game heads. Um, Ooh, I'm gonna stir the pot a lot tonight about video game controversy, so stay tuned. Uh, this is a song from an incredible game with an incredible soundtrack. Uh, way better than anybody, you know, they must have gotten this gig and they thought, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna do this shit, man. I mean, so this is uh, a song from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, I personally had never really played this game as a not, not really a fighting game guy, but you know, a lot of people on my Discord server, if you're in the Discord server, shout out to you for being there, thank you. If you're not in, you should come join, it's a great hang. There's a channel where people suggest songs, and I was seeing this game come up a lot, so I checked the soundtrack out. There's so many great tunes on this soundtrack, but for some reason, I, who knows why, I was particularly drawn not to any of the great full-length tunes, but to one four-bar, eight-second loop. <laughs> that plays when you're choosing your character. <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was listening to a YouTube video of that same four bar loop for 20 minutes. <laughs> and I really just fell in love with it. I couldn't stop listening to it. It was super funky and I thought, it's got one lyric and that lyric is also the title. If you may know what it is at this point, but if you don't, I'm gonna say it in a sec. Um, and I thought, what would that one single lyric sound like if we wrote an entire other song around it? And so I got some of my friends in the band, Lawrence. Anybody know Lawrence? Yeah. Sadly, they're not here tonight because they're busy touring, you know, no-name venues like Yankee Stadium with the Jonas Brothers. You know, little, little jaunts like that, never heard of them. Um, but I asked them to help me write the rest of this song. And so this is basically an original song inspired by Marvel vs. Capcom 2, based on the loop that plays when you pick your character. Who would have guessed it? This is I Want to Take You for a Ride from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And to sing it, please welcome Shane Deneko and Amanda Burris. Hey, everybody.
easy as can be. I see the light of faces, but only one for me. I want to press you, babe, from across the screen. Put on my sunny vest, call me the war machine. It's your way I'm looking. Like real high token, where you call my Choose your own arrangement. 
And uh, yes, that's right. This is a part of the show where I ask you, my friends in the audience, to help us on stage choose what song we're going to play next. And we match up two songs to uh, decide, right? So let me explain to you uh, what's going on uh, rule-wise. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say the name of two songs, basically, and whichever one you want to hear after I say it, you're going to make some, uh, you make some noise and let us know what you think, right? That's how we vote. Very simple. The one, the one thing we got to do to make sure we have a fair election here is I'm going to say the names of each song twice, basically. The first time, I'm going to lay them out for you so you don't blow your wad on the first one and then say, shit, I should have clapped for the second one, right? <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> Here's so, and then, uh, please, you know, do your best to contain yourself while I do that. Then we'll circle back. I will say the names of the songs again, and then you will let me know what you think. Uh, in the past, we have pitted various franchises together, you know, like Mario and Sonic is a very common matchup, which is, I know, a little bit controversial, but this time, we're pitting, yeah, I know, and Mario and Zelda, it, it can get tense, it can get tense. But this time, just to be fair, I am pitting Sonic, against another Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic squared, baby. Two Sonics, one show. Yeah. Late show. Yeah. So, you remember the rules? Here's what's gonna be. The first song of your two options is Spring Yard Zone from Sonic 1. Mm -hmm. yeah. The second option is Hydro City Zone from Sonic 3. Hey. Hey. Don't sway the vote, okay? <laughs> Don't sway the vote. It's a tough choice. It's a tough, what do you mean it's a trick question? <laughs> All right, you remember the rules. Make some noise if you want to hear Spring Yard Zone. The front really wants to hear Spring Yard Zone. Make some noise if you want to hear Hydro City Zone. Well, I'm sorry, Sonic 1 fans, but it's going to be, you know what? Just out of curiosity, make some noise if you pronounce it Hydro City Zone. Thank you. Make some noise if you pronounce it Hydro City Zone. Are we wrong? Stir the pot. I'll let you discuss that amongst yourself. In the meantime, make some noise for the alto sax player, second alto in our band, Zach Zinger. who will be featured on this arrangement of Hydro City Zone from Sonic Group.
more time for Zach Zinner. Thank you so much for participating in the democratic process. I might ask you to do, to do that again a little bit later, if that's all right with you all. Are you having a good time so far? Thank you so much. We're having a great time up here. You're a great crowd. This is a good time. What a night for video game music, am I right? Make some noise for video game music. That's right. <laughs> Amen. I think that's, uh, you know, that really speaks to the testament of where we are now, not to get philosophical, but, you know, we're at a place where video games have been around for about 40, 45 years, and it's really cool that we have this community that's been built up around this canon of work that we all grew up appreciating, and now we can gather in this space, we can make music, you can appreciate it, we can have a good time, and reimagine these works that are so formative, and, you know, that really was my mission when I started the band, so, you know, this stuff really means a lot to me, and so it means a lot that you're all here helping us do this. Thanks so much, y'all. Uh, continuing on, we'd like to play a, uh, another new arrangement. Now, this is, this is a cool arrangement. Uh, I'd like to introduce ahead of time uh, Jake Silverman over here. Now, Jake is a fantastic artist and musician as well. You may know him as Button Masher. Do we have some Button Masher fans? If you don't know Jake, go look up Button Masher right now, because this guy is a seriously bad... Are there children in the audience right now? This guy's this guy, this guy a bad dude. So go check him out. He's a great chiptune artist. He has a harmonic and musical vocabulary that I could never hope to match. And so I say this because we collaborated on this next arrangement. You may know or you may not know that three years ago we collaborated on another arrangement for this band, the only guy I've ever co-arranged with, really. Uh, and we won a Grammy for that arrangement together. And that was cool. And you know. That's not bad, right? Not bad for video game music. That's cool. And now they have a whole category for it, so, you know, that's cool, too. Um, but uh, what happened after that is I made a post, to, you know, on social media, and uh, does anybody know the band Dirty Loops? I'm dropping names left and right here. So the lead singer, Jonah Nilsson of that band, commented on that Instagram post and said, oh, I'd love to get involved. I said, wow, I'm a huge fan of yours. I mean, I've, we've got to arrange something, but I've got to ask Jake to do it with me again, because if you know Dirty Loops, you know that's some really intense stuff, like really complex and it's way beyond my vocabulary, so I knew I had to get Jake to help me out with this one. Uh, this is a tune from another great soundtrack that I've just recently become familiar with, uh, that people love, and I'm so glad that fans, uh, you know, turned me onto this game. Uh, this is from the great game Persona 5. Yeah, I'm a little late. I'm a little late to the Persona game. I actually, you know what, I haven't played any others. Which Persona game should I play next? I've only played five. Stir the pot, stir the pot. What's your favorite Persona? What's, look, what's your best, what's the best Persona game? Let me know right now. Stir the pot, stir the pot. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting carried, it's the late show, I'm getting carried away. But let's get back to business. Uh, uh, please welcome, if any of you came to uh, MAGFest in DC this last year, you may know them, a great singer. This is Lydia Fischl. Can we? Please make some noise for Lydia Fischl, who's going to be singing this next tune. So happy to have them. This is Last Surprise from Persona 5.
to a T, yet I'm two steps ahead, yeah. So, you step into my way, stand down. It's a trap, one more step, and you're dead. Why just a pick a second to go clear blue skies, but no lightning struck your last resolve. Ooh, it's not an accident that no one is your surprise as your last drink seems to dissolve. You'll, You'll never see it coming. You'll see that my mind is too fast for eyes. You'll die by the time it gets to your last surprise. I'm coming for you. My feet's always too fast, so fine. You'll spot it by the next you did it. Get it. from our fourth album. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the tune that I was also introduced to uh, by fans. You know, I'm only one person. I'm of a certain millennial age. I can't possibly play every game. Uh, but I have played the middle entry of this trio of games. Although the outside one and the third one only came out in Japan, so you have to cut me some slack. <laughs> Anybody? Yeah, I think we know. I think we know. Well, what, do you, what game do you think I'm talking about? Nice, <laughs> nice. That is the game that I have played. This one is from the first entry into this series, which I have not played. Um, and it is, uh, it is a tune that I've really grown to love. It's, it's, a, it's a favorite of mine. It's a great, great tune. I really responded to the lyrics. And when I heard them, I thought, man, this is really an anthem for positivity. And uh, I, I must, simply must arrange this. Uh, and we put our own spin on it here, and so this is Pollyanna from Mother. Uh, and to sing it, please make some noise for the incredible Jay Horde. Give it up.
always gonna shine I believe a part of need you to take your seat, okay, so we can continue with the show. Well, I just wanted to express my enthusiasm for this ticket. Ah, uh, okay, well, as a ticket holder, you're entitled to no more than 15 claps per song exactly and some scattered roofs, but please, no talking during the show and standing out. Come on, man. Well, listen, I know I'm going to humble audience member, right? All right, I guess since you're dying to ask me something, you know what, why don't you come up here, come up on stage. Is that okay, folks? Is that all right? I'm so sorry. Give him a hand. Come on up here. Can we get that microphone over there? Give me one of those microphones. Come on. Yes. I'm so, I'm so sorry about this. This, this, is, this doesn't usually happen. This is insane. Okay, sir. sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
very much. Thank you okay. very much. So, listen, oh, I can't uh, believe I'm even up here. I mean, neither can this I. This is terrifying. <laughs> this, I feel this similarly. Terrifying. I'm, Look also at all these I'm very terrified right now. So, sir, How do you do it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Since you're up here, yes. thank you. Since, what is it that you're dying to ask me? Well, I just have to know. Yeah. Once and for all. Yeah. Are you Charlie Rosen? <laughs> yes, I am Charlie Rosen. I knew it. Have a good night. Well, da, 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 <laughs> Wait a minute, come back. That couldn't possibly. I'm, I mean, I'm very famous on social media. This is the 8 bit big band. You must have known I was Charlie Rosen before. Well, I don't have social media. I'm not 12. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, since we stopped the entire show for you, is there anything else you want to ask me? Well, I must tell you, I do have a predilection for jazz bands. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, certainly, certainly. Uh -huh. certainly. Yeah. Well, in that case, where are my manners? I don't believe I've caught your name. Well, Abood's the name, George yeah. Abood, and yeah. I'm what you might call a performer myself, oh, Mr. Rosen. Oh, you don't Rosa. say, George. Yes, 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 yeah, I am. Well, I might not have social media, but I did spend 40 years as Naked Sinatra on 49th and 11th. <laughs> oh, that was you? Well, on Wednesdays between 2 and 4. PM? No. Have a good night. Da, 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 da. Oh. I'm actually starting to find you slightly more charming than the people who usually, you know, uh, try to ruin my shows, yes, right, yes. folks? He's pretty charming. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is there anything else you want to ask? Me? Well, yes, yes, there is. There uh -huh. is something. Yeah, there is. Yeah. And do you remember what that is that I want to ask you? It's Oh, it's about, oh yeah, the first question is this, uh, are those your real teeth? Yes, they are. Okay, second question. <laughs> I must compliment you on this fantastic ensemble, just okay. fantastic. Thank you, that's, that's more of a statement, not a question. Well, but... they're just fantastic, uh, and I should so. know, because yeah. I'm a person who knows such things. I am, I guess, learning this about you, George. Yes, 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 that is, that's true. And I'm what you might call a jazz and name a file A jazz and name a file What's that? Why, what's that? Why, Charlie, you have a name, don't you? I do have a name. And Charlie, me, George, I have a name, don't I? By George, you do have a name. Yes, well, Charlie, as a person with a name, it is of particular interest of me to know the names of these fine players so that when I'm harassing them at the stage door after the gig, they have a harder time ignoring me. <laughs> I, well, I guess that makes sense, George. Yes, yes, yes. And, I, and as a trumpet owner myself, I would love to start with these fine trumpeters back here. Oh, these fine trumpeters over here? Yes, these fine trumpeters back here. They are fine. Look at them. Who are these nameless blowers? Well, George, that all makes sense, and I'm happy to accommodate you. Please, but, please. you know, one thing you got to keep in mind, you know, is that historically jazz musicians, you know, they can have some uh, kind of unusual nicknames. Unusual nicknames, you say? Yeah, you know, Bird, Duke, Train, Dizzy, Toot, Slam, you know, all sorts of names like that. Those right? are some unusual nicknames, aren't <laughs> they? they? Are. Oh, I just okay, want to see stage left. Now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, they are. Well, as Very long as you, unusual. As long as you keep that in mind, George, I'm yeah. happy to introduce you to tonight's please, section. Please, please. Okay, so in tonight's trumpet section for the 8-Bit Big Band, we have got who's on first trumpet, what's on second trumpet, I don't know's on third trumpet, now on fourth Wait, trumpet. Wait, Charlie, yeah. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. No, that's what I came to find out. I want you to tell me the names of the players in the trumpet section. No, I know. I'm telling you. Who's on first trumpet, what's on second trumpet, I don't know's on third Charlie, trumpet. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Yeah. Do you know the players' names? Yes. So who's on first? Yes. No, the guy playing first trumpet. Who? No, the, the, the name of the guy playing first trumpet. Who? The guy playing the first trumpet in the 8-bit big band. Who is on first trumpet? Well, what are you asking me for? I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Who is on first trumpet? Well, I'm asking you who's on the first trumpet. That's the musician's name. Whose name? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy playing the first trumpet. Who? The guy playing the first trumpet. Who is on first trumpet? Listen, listen. Have you got a trumpet player on the first trumpet? Certainly. Certainly. So who's playing first? Absolutely. Okay, listen. When you send a check to the first trumpet player after the gig, yeah. who gets the money? Every dollar of it, and why not? He's playing a great show. <laughs> who is? Yes. So who gets it? Well, why shouldn't he? Sometimes his manager will come get instead. Who's manager? Yes, after all, he's earned it. Who's earned it? Absolutely. Listen, listen, okay, all I want to know is what's the name of the player on first trumpet? What's the name of the player on second trumpet? I'm not asking you who's on the second trumpet. Who's on first? That's what I want to find out. Well, quit changing their names around, George. Jeez. I'm not changing their names around. All right, relax. This isn't... All I want to know is what's the name of the player on the first trumpet? What's the name of the player on the second trumpet? I'm not asking you who's on the second trumpet. Who's on first? I don't know. Oh, no, she's on third. We're not talking about her. How did we get to the third trumpet? Well, you just mentioned her name. Okay, so if I mentioned her name, then tell me who's playing the third trumpet. Who's on first Stay trumpet? Stay off of first, will you? Well, I don't know why you're getting so confused. Okay, listen, all I want to know is what's the name of the player on the third trumpet? What's the name of the player on the second I'm trumpet? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. She's on third. How did we get oh. back to third? I don't know what you want me to do. I can't help. All right, listen, take a breath. I feel like we're getting a little confused here. So just one more time, George. It's okay. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. okay. 
I'm nervous. I understand. I don't do this. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> what is it? What is it? One more time, exactly. I you just want to know, once yeah. and for all, yeah. what's the name of the player on the third trumpet? What's the name of the player on the second I'm trumpet? I'm not asking you who's on the second trumpet. Who's on first? I don't know. Third, third trumpet. trumpet. Okay, listen, listen. You got a sax section in the band. Oh right? yeah, we got a great sax okay, section. Okay, the alto sax player's name. Why? I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. Well, you. I just thought I'd tell you. Okay, then tell me who's playing the alto sax. Who's on first trumpet? Stay out of the trumpet section, will you? Well, quit mentioning the trumpet section. I'm just asking, what's the name of the alto sax player? What's the name of the guy on second trumpet? I'm not asking you who's on second trumpet. Who's on first? I don't know. Third, Third trumpet. trumpet. <laughs> All right. I just, I feel like we're not seeing eye to eye stills. Okay, listen, and the alto sax player's name. Why? Because. No, he's on tenor sax. <laughs> Okay, listen, listen, listen. Have you got a piano player in this band? We wouldn't be much of a band without a piano player. I agree. Tomorrow. Tell me the piano player's name. Tomorrow. You don't want to tell me his name? I'm telling you his name. Okay, so go ahead and tell me. Tomorrow. What time? What time what? What time tomorrow are you going to tell me who's playing the piano? George, one more time. Who is not playing piano? Who? I swear is... if you say who's on first one more time. Then why not you come up here and ask me? I just want to know what's the name of the piano player? What's the name of the guy on second trumpet? I don't know. Third, Third trumpet. trumpet. Okay, listen, 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 listen. You got a bass player, right? Yes. Okay, tell me the bass player's name. Today. Okay. Uh-huh. Today. Yeah. And tomorrow's on the piano. Yeah, now you're getting it. So you got a couple of days on the team. Well, I can't help that. What do you want me to do? Okay, so listen. So say I want to start my own big band, and uh, I'd be fantastic, uh, by the I'm way. I'm sure you would. Okay, and I want to play a song from my favorite game. Yeah. And in the song, I'm going to write a screaming high trumpet part. Yeah. So I'm going to pinch your first trumpet player. So I pick up the phone, and I call who? Now, that's the first thing you've said right so far. <laughs> even know what I'm talking about anymore. Well, that's all you gotta do. Is to call who? Death. And who will play? Naturally. Who will play? Naturally. 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 Okay, then. So you got it. I call, I pick up the phone and I call naturally. No, you pick up your phone, you call the first trumpet player. And who answers? Naturally. Okay. Okay. I call naturally. No, you don't. You call who? Naturally. Yes, now we're getting it. Okay, so I pick up the phone and I call the first trumpet player. And then who answers? Ah, uh, he better answer, I'll okay. tell you that. Oh my God, this guy's cool. Okay, listen, no, listen, guy... listen, listen. So I'm putting the band together. I call who to play the first trumpet. What What's on second? I don't know who's on third. Tomorrow's on the piano. Somebody gets up to play the melody, and that's why, because I don't know, she's on third, and I don't give a damn. Oh, what was that? I said, I don't give a damn. No, that's our drummer. <laughs> I just here. wanted to thank everybody in the band one at a time. Since, thank you know, you since, thank you, you, since you've thank wandered you. up on the stage haphazardly, do you think you might want to sing something? Oh, well, let me see if there's anything in here. That's uh, what do you know about video game music, George? Oh, I don't know. Especially just pick anything. Whatever went. catches your eye. Oh, here's something just pick that something. looks interesting, but yeah. I wouldn't know. It's from something called Portal. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's a good one. Well, George, if you insist. We're okay, gonna let's try it. Hit Still it. Still alive from Portal, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for George. was a triumph I'm making a note here a huge success it's hard to overstate my satisfaction oh, aperture science we do what we must because we can for the good of all of us and the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science get done And you make a neat gun For the people who are still alive Oh, I'm not even angry I'm being so sincere right now even though you broke my heart and killed me And tore me to pieces And threw every piece into a fire oh, As 
they burned it hurt because it was so happy for you. Now this boy love day to make a beautiful life. We're out of beta, but we're leasing on time. So I'm glad I got burned. Think of all the things we learned for the people who are as Take it away, boy. Experiments to run, there is research to be done on the people who are still alive. And believe me, I am still alive. And while you're dying, I'll be still alive. I feel fantastic and I am still alive. And when you're dead, I will be still alive. Still alive. Gentlemen. Thank you so much. Also, make some noise for Danny Janacucci on the trumpet solo over there. Oh, can I have that? And while we're in the trumpet section, make some noise for our lead trumpet player, Brian Davis, over there. Yes, their, their names are not actually who, what, and I don't know. They have real people names, too. And yeah, you know, it's funny, I, that actually was the first time I've ever had to memorize and execute lines in front of an audience. So, thank you for that, I appreciate it. It's something I've always wanted to do. <laughs> That's right. Um, I'm making a judgment call, okay? You can tell, her, tell Aisha we're gonna do this tune in two more tunes. Late show, baby. <laughs> I just feel like, I'm just, I'm just feeling the crowd, I'm feeling what's best for you. I want to take care of you. Is that okay? Is that okay with her? Is that okay? All right, cool. That, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm saving you for, you know, to the end. Save the best for last. Um, so, now, <laughs> what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Now, I would like to call upon you, the audience, one more time uh, to uh, participate once more and help us choose our own arrangement. Uh, but this time, this is the first time we've ever done this specific form of this. We're doing Choose Your Own Ballad. Mm. Yes, it's the holiday season. We're trying to get cozy here, snuggle up with our loved ones and whisper sweet nothings into their ear. This is what we're going to do with one of these two tunes that you pick. Now, for this matchup, we are, in fact, pitting Zelda against Mario. Stir the pot, stir the pot, stir the pot. You remember the rules. You remember the rules. Um, I'm gonna name the games. Just listen and absorb, and then we will circle back and vote. The first tune is Mabe Village from Link's Awakening. Mm, good one. However, don't, the second tune is the overworld theme from Super Mario World. Also a good one. I know. Make some noise if you want to hear Mabe Village. Yeah, you know. Matt does. All right. Make some noise if you want to hear Super Mario World. All right. I get the point. We're going to do the Super Mario World overworld theme. Now. This version of it, a very tender ballad. I arranged it for this special occasion, so if there's anybody there that you care about at that table, in that case, 
This is for you. This, this is for all the 8-bit big band lovers out there. Please enjoy Super Mario World as a tender ballad. This is the sensitive part of our set tonight. That was beautiful, huh? What a great theme. You know it's a really great melody if you can arrange it in basically any way and it still holds up. And that soundtrack is testament to that. That's Super Mario World, one of my earliest, also earliest video games. I got the Super Nintendo actually at a garage sale, I think I remember. That was a great game, really, yeah. That theme really gets, that cuts me close. That's a good one. That hits, that hits close. Um, continuing on with the uh, slightly more uh, sentimental part of our set, 
this next uh, ballad is another just beautiful, beautiful melody uh, from the Final Fantasy series this time. It's some great games. And, uh, you know, I, I was playing the remake recently and uh, I thought, God, this music is just so good. It's just so good. And there's many, many themes in it that I've wanted to cover, but this one particularly I had an idea for. And I, I knew the exact musician that I wanted to cover it because she has such a beautiful flugelhorn sound. Please put your hands together for Chloe Rollins on the flugelhorn. And um, she just sounds so wonderful on it. It's on our fourth album. Uh, this is Tifa's theme from Final Fantasy VII.
Chloe Rowland. Woo! That was beautiful. Well, I'm sad to say that we're getting towards that time in the night when it's getting close to uh, saying uh, goodbye to you all. I know. But well, we do have a couple more songs. We have two more songs. Just two. Definitely not gonna do that thing, you know, the thing. We're not gonna, we, we got two more, and only two more. Definitely not a third, if you're nice enough. Okay? <laughs> Take that back. No, we have two more songs, okay? Two more, okay, you know, we all know the drill. We have two more songs for you tonight. So now we're gonna circle back, and please put your hands together for the one, the only, Aisha Jackson. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Aisha is here to sing uh, another incredible track off of the Persona 5 soundtrack. This is Beneath the Mask. in just a moment. <laughs> What's your favorite track off the Persona 5 soundtrack? Say it right now, go. Beneath the mask. Beneath the mask. That's what it's it is. obviously beneath the mask. Are you good? You good? Cool. This is Beneath the Mask from Persona 5. Everyone's favorite. Yeah. <laughs>
off my mask. Please don't take off my mask. My disguise, my disguise. I'm a shapeshifter. I pose masquerade. I keep a face in mind. Oh, free for you to draw. I'm a shapeshifter. I've no face to show. Please don't take off my Save, save that word for later, we're gonna get to it. This is our last song of the evening, uh, and it's a song that is from my personal favorite video game soundtrack of all time. It's one of my favorite games ever. I remember playing this game as a kid and thinking, you know, hearing this soundtrack and thinking, this is a score, this is a real score with themes and motif and development. And I always keep joking that one of these days, it's not a joke really, I'm gonna make a, uh, like a YouTube video where I break down this soundtrack song by song, because I have stolen so many gems of music theory wisdom you know, from each of these songs, and it's just really a testament to the amazing power of this music and how it's influenced generations. Uh, and so to help close out the evening, uh, please make some noise for our lead alto player, Andrew Gould. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to feature Gould on this arrangement of, wait, pause, Alex Wentz on the guitar. I'm sorry, I just, I realized I forgot to do that last set and I just feel like, I sh yeah, this guy's a bad dude over here. He deserves it. Anyway, I'm so thrilled to have Gould uh, be featured on this song from my favorite video game soundtrack of all time. This is Song of Storms from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Thank you so much.
much. Since you asked so nicely, you've been such a great crowd. We will give you one more. No, but seriously, thank you all so, so much for coming out. Really means the world to us. It means the world that you've been enjoying our albums, our music, wherever you consume it, whether it be YouTube or Spotify, you know. I, I really appreciate it, truly, and it's your support that really keeps us going uh, and, and makes this all possible. We would not be here without you. One more round of applause for yourselves as an audience. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd also, I, I'd like you please to applaud for a couple of other people. Uh, our producers, MGP Live, who put this whole evening together with me. We'd be nothing without them. And please give a huge hand for all the staff at Sony Hall who make this possible, from front of house, on stage, kitchen staff, ticketing. All, tip your servers so lavishly that when you check your bank statement the next day, you're like, what did I do? Do that. They deserve it, okay? Uh, and to close out tonight's evening, I would like to feature uh, the, the heartbeat of our band, uh, the incredible Jared Schoenig on the drums back here. So, thank you all for coming out one more time. Uh, to send you off, this is a more recent uh, entry into the great video game songbook that has a particularly noteworthy sax solo. If you know it, sing along. This is Dolphin Shoals from Mario Kart 8.
away, Jared. Take it away. Big man, thank you for coming. Thank you again. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>